If I would ask you to name a poison, chances are you would name cyanide. Why? Because it is very effective at intoxication. Cyanide molecularly is not complicated at all compared to other poisons. So how can a simple bond between carbon and nitrogen be able to fatally intoxicate within seconds? What cyanide does differently than other slow intoxicating poisons is that it targets the electron transport chain in the mitochondria. As a result, no energy or ATP is produced and the cell quickly starts off. ATP supply lasts around 3 seconds in a given cell, so without the replenishment of ATP by cellular respiration, the cell is quick to deplete ATP supplies. ATP is used in everything from transport to providing diffusions of substances, and without it, the cell quickly dies. Now, where exactly does cyanide affect the electron transport chain, you may ask? Well, the electron transport chain is a multi-step process that uses electrons from several sources to pump protons across a concentration gradient, which then comes back down naturally with ATP synthase. There are four complexes involved in the mitochondria respiratory chain. The first one reduces NADH for protons and electrons. The second does the same with FADH2. Complex 3 acts as a proton pump, but where cyanide comes into altering the respiratory chain is complex 4, known as cytochrome C oxase. In this complex, the electron is combined with oxygen and protons to make water normally, ending the journey of electrons through the respiratory chain. However, cyanide attaches onto one of the electron acceptors, the ferric ion. As a result, the electron acceptor gets surrounded by cyanide ions and the charge goes from positive to negative, so electrons no longer want to attach to the ferric ion, which finishes out of water. This causes failure of protons to create the needed concentration gradient to power ATP synthase, which means no ATP. So there you have it, the simple coordination complex produced by an iron-3 ion and a carbon-nitrogen compound is enough to kill a human being within seconds of entering the bloodstream.